my God. Hi, everyone. Wow. Wasn't expecting this many people, so this is a lovely surprise. I see some familiar faces in the audience, which is great. Welcome to DevStream 177. The first one we've done live in a very long time. We been, haven't been at PAX in a very long time. Uh, but it's not just me on this stage. I'm feeling very lonely and frightened. So I'm going to get uh, the rest of the panelists up on stage. We have two creative directors joining us. We have Rebecca Ford, creative director of Warframe. <laughs> Jump over top now. Uh, you said <laughs> DevStream 177. <What> are, <laughs> We One, didn't practice at all, it's fine. 178. And creative director of Soul Frame, Jeff Crooks. Yeah! Hello, everyone. Welcome. I was uh, warned about this chair. Oh, yeah, that chair makes a farting noise. Yeah, Be careful. So do it. Do it. He won't do it. OK. <laughs> maybe later, maybe later. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we haven't been at PAX in six or seven years. It's been a while. This was the first convention we ever came to when Warframe was 11 years ago. You were just looking at photos. I was just looking at young photos. Rebecca. Our, we were part of the NVIDIA booth for Warframe 11 years ago. And PAX, has always, PAX East has always been my favorite because it's felt like home. It was our first one. We love yeah. Boston. We love Boston. So we have a lot to show you today. Of course, we're going to talk Warframe. We're going to talk Soulframe. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs> a lot we have a timer. <laughs> we do have a timer, and it's stressing me out, but it's fine. Um, I will do like a tiny bit of housekeeping if you're familiar with dev streams. Uh, wait, who is this? Who's watched a dev stream before? Like an act? OK. Oh. Cool. You know what to expect oh. then. That makes this so much easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know the expectations for our dev streams. Uh, if you're watching at home, there is no Twitch drop. I love you. We'll get back to it, I swear. Uh, sorry. Oh, the gas in the crowd. I was even shocked. I didn't know. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. We're not at home. Uh, we do have Gift of the Lotus Alerts in game. They are 72 hours, because if you're here, you're not playing Warframe, but you could be. So 72 hours, Gift of the Lotus <laughs> Alerts will be live after the stream ends, a form of Blueprint and a Riven Cypher. Uh, you could get yourself in game. And all right, we're going to get into it. Uh, get comfy, because we have you for an hour and a half, which if you know the recent dev streams, <laughs> uh, is, pretty, <laughs> is pretty normal, because I always go over the hour time limit. And that's my bad. We're going to talk Warframe. We're going to talk Soulframe. We do have time at the end of the stream for live audience Q&A. You'll see the microphones don't line up yet. Uh, but if you have a question you would love to ask anyone that is on this panel, including our special, special guest. guest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, uh, you could ask them as well. Um, so just stay tuned, uh, and we'll get it sorted out if you'd like to do a question. And we'll give you an answer at the end of the stream. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Believe it or not, Warframe's 11 years old. Who's been playing for a year or 11 years? Oh! oh wow. Some OGs. <laughs> Any founders in the, in the oh, 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 my god. Look at them. Wow. All right, we're, we're, yeah. celebrating, we're celebrating 11 years of Warframe. And it is uh, crazy that we've been kicking it for 11 years. I know you guys have been here for over 11 years. Yes, we are old. You. Not to give you a date, but you've been Although, here. Although, Jeff got ID'd in Boston, so he's not that old. Still pretty good. <laughs> so we, Still told, pretty good. We, we told the bald brigade of Sheldon <laughs> and Steve that Jeff got ID'd, and they were, yeah. they were loving. This is why I got invited on the girl trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah <that's> <laughs> one of the girls, Jeff. Uh, well, we have a bunch of, obviously, anniversary stuff. If you're familiar, you've been here for a while. Uh, we do a uh, collection of items called Dex items. And this year, we're doing the Dex Nakana as our anniversary celebration and we brought just a little video to show you a little bit more about our anniversary so let's watch When does it go live? Oh my god! <laughs> Yay! 
Uh, uh, the Dex Nakana will be going, will be going live. live. For anyone who logs into Warframe, they'll get an inbox with the Dex Nakana starting March 27th, oh. once our next update comes out, which will obviously That's be That's smart. <laughs> ah. Put the free thing with the update. I ah, get it. I get it. Entice you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyone who logs into Warframe uh, will get that inbox with the Dex Nakana. And then we have alerts for, I think, eight weeks of alerts with all the previous year's Dex stuff. So if maybe you're yeah. new and you want to get a whole arsenal of, I think, this will be our ninth year, so there's eight years worth of dex items to get. You could get it's it. not a complicated game at all if it's <laughs> the first you're hearing of Warframe. It's totally not. You don't need to do homework, I, I swear. It's not. It's just fashion frame. It's all good. It's fine. Uh, and then we, we have changed it up a little bit this year. We have some challenging alerts as well for anyone who maybe is a veteran player and wants a little bit of challenge instead of dex alerts. Uh, we will be doing some steel path difficulty alerts as well and get yourself some goodies. So uh, lots of uh, in-game stuff there for our 11 year birthday anniversary. And we do have new merch. If you want to pre-order some uh, Warframe 11 year merch, uh, get yourself a cool t-shirt and a pin. You can pre-order it now. <laughs> Merchandise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> housekeeping. Now, it's housekeeping, I'm sorry. Uh, now we know we're turning 11. Tenocon is going into its ninth year. Has anyone ever been to Tenocon here? <gasps> Wow. Oh. A lot of Americans don't have passports, I find. So it's like, a, <laughs> we come to you. Yeah, I do recognize a lot of faces in the audience, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, Tenocon over the years, if you don't know, is Warframe's annual convention. And we've been doing it for, this will be our ninth year. And it's a day to just celebrate you coming to London, Ontario, <laughs> wanting to hang out with us. And we show you kind of the latest and greatest as to what's going on. Uh, and we kind of talked about this earlier, but we do have tickets launching on March 28th, uh, the physical tickets as well as the digital pack. And for the first time, we're going to see what exactly those digital items could be. First time ever. First time <laughs> world <laughs> premiere. Oh my god, world premiere. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. What, what, are we, oh. what, are we, what are we looking at? What are we looking We're at? really going all in on the 1999 theme for this year's TennoCon stuff, which you'll be very clear why by the end of this panel. You'll get some first look at more 1999 stuff. But uh, our team really put together a killer bundle this year. Uh, whether you're coming in person or if you're just able to grab the digital pack, you'll get these. Uh, those are some throwing weapon skins and a Cyan Donna that actually is a, a straight up backpack. Straight up backpack. <laughs> <laughs> what you put in that backpack, we won't ask. It's all. And there's a little symbol on there that will start to mean more and more, depending on, you know, there's symbols everywhere with those with eyes to see them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not featured in this art, but it was too cute not to show that's also in this digital pack is perhaps oh. a floof <laughs> version. <laughs> if you don't know, this is Arthur, and he is going to be in floof version for the digital pack. And just too cute not to show. Uh, so March 28th, these are all going to be going live. Again, if you want to come to London, Ontario, hang out with us, uh, see all of it live, meet the rest of the crew. Uh, March 28th, these tickets will be going on sale. And then, of course, the digital pack as well. And for the Americans in the CAD, CAD means Canadian dollars. Oh. So in your money, that's like a a deal. $1,000 tickets, actually like $20. So. Oh. <laughs> not sure. It's not true. That is but it might as well. Very <laughs> inaccurate. I tried to buy a coffee this morning, and that that was devastating. Oh, oh no. <sighs> Speaking of <laughs> that, I guess. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, one of the great things about TanoCon is that it's also a charity initiative. Um, and this year, I'm happy to say that we are pairing with two charities, Sick Kids, the largest center dedicated to Canadian health, ca children's health in Canada, as well as Able Gamers. So we are going to be supporting the, yes, Able Gamers. We're going to be supporting them. Uh, and they're a part of TennoCon. So just thrilled to have them on board. Uh, and, you know, in, in more coming soon. Is that housekeeping over? Housekeeping's over. We did a team. We got through housekeeping. <laughs> Let's get to some fun things, shall we? Dante Unbound is coming next week, March 27th, on all platforms. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the follow-up update to Whispers in the Walls. Uh, we won't spoil anything here, I don't think. Mm, no, but we have some newer fun things to show that's coming in the update. Next week. Next week. The March update next 7th. week. The update. The free of now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you got for us, mate? Uh, so coming in, Dante Unbound, is our next Warframe. It's our 56 Warframe. Do Would you just I was leaning like him, but it didn't work well. I was trying to, like, <laughs> it's not a good idea. So. <laughs> You're too cool for that. Nope. Uh, Dante Unbound is coming, and with Dante Unbound is a story from the Leverian 
Drusus has a bit of a role to play. Yeah, we didn't want to uh, do an update without any lore. You know, it's important for people out there that want a little bit of texture with their food, of their Warframe meal, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's important to us to, to give, um, and we've done this for years and years, mm -hmm. just try and have something. If we can't do a quest because it's a smaller update, at least there can be something. So we're bringing back a very uh, fan favorite character to serve as the antagonist for this update for what, uh, you know, what happened to the Liberian? Why aren't you getting Liberians frequently anymore? And, you know, Dante himself, what role did he play in curating the Liberian? Because surely Drusus Liberian and couldn't get all that information himself, Dante had to help him. And if Dante went missing, the Virians ended. So. Mm -hmm. And we know the Virians are, you know, Prex cards. Yes. Oh, yeah, you added an asset oh, in like an hour ago. Yeah. That's an impressive yeah. segue. Do you like that segue? Thank you. That was Because that was very quick. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Eric Vetter, who sent up this. He just wanted a shout out. He, he really did shout out. Cool. Eric, yeah. you're welcome. He sent me this like an hour ago. Uh, this is the reveal of the Dante Prex card that is going to be coming, obviously, in Dante Unbound. Just a cool guy. Cool just guy a with a cool book. guy. That's pretty great. Yeah. yeah. He's a yeah. cool guy with okay, a Okay, Eric. It's All right. Great. Okay, Eric. Uh, <laughs> Everyone at the company nagged him about this. For a long time. <laughs> yeah, like, give yeah. us a prex card. Uh, we also brought a little video just to kind of encapsulate uh, what is coming in Dante Unbound, because there is a lot. So let's just tune into that video, shall we? This room was to be a shrine to one of my dearest friends. But now that shall never come to pass. Teaser. Just a little Just teaser. A little teaser. Just a little We've been talking about Dante I know, I Bound for like, yeah. I know, I know. We're going to salute to Sticky Corners. That's it's the real key of the update. Sticky Corners. <laughs> sticky Corners. Yeah, yeah no more yeah. Sticky Corners. Like, farewell. Yeah. Don't miss ya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Goodbye, all because of Except if you were on an angle in a level, the, the physics would block you. <laughs> Any, I have, this has plagued me for 11 years. No more. What will plague you next? I have a couple things. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. got a list. There's a couple yeah. things. Uh, as we've already talked about, Dante Unbound, Steinax oh. officially coming. Just had to show you this glorious key art of Steinax Deluxe because it's one of the most incredible skins so I've ever seen. Yep. Uh, we won't talk about. Do we? <laughs> you can take the nipple tassels off. Anyways, <laughs> you can. It's uh, it's an auxiliary, and it, it has its own name, so you can. But I don't think. What are they called? Well, that's buy the skin to oh, find out. I can't even remember. <laughs> Helen, Helen had to name it. Yeah. Sorry, Helen. We, we make sure our microtransactions focus on the ability to customize nipples. It's a very, <laughs> yeah. it's very uh, important to us. Yeah. I, we, we find that people, you know. Although yeah. I don't know, I don't think you know what you were asking for when you wanted no nipple tassels, so I'll just leave it at that. You, you can decide yeah. the version that you want to see. The tassels <laughs> stay on in my build. Yes, yes. It's, it's something. Okay, uh, that's a lot of time about nipples. Sorry, yeah. No more nipple talk. Um, a couple other fun things that are coming in Dante Unbound that we haven't talked about yet that are kind of silly, goofy fun. Um, if you have seen the Gauss Prime Access trailer, anybody see that trailer? Yes? <laughs> uh, you may have seen a fun uh, animation that Gauss does, and we've decided to, the team turned it into an emote, so we have a little video clip here to show. You can put this emote on any Warframe you would like if you want to <laughs> yeah. show off just how fun Fun and goofy you are. You can put this, uh, it'll be in the market as uh, so our other emotes are, and you can put it on any Warframe that you'd like. Well, no, you have to pay for it. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. You That's put it in the market. That's microtransaction. Okay, this is okay. only a microtransaction panel. Speaking, Nipples oh, no. taunting. Speaking Bad of timing. other microtransactions, void shell skins. <laughs> we love void shell skins. We actually have three coming in this update that we haven't shown yet. Uh, the first being for Banshee. So we have a little video here to show you what that's going to look like. If you're any Banshee mains out here. She was my th uh, third frame in the year recap. I got the email oh, yeah. from the Warframe Marketing, and it was like, here's your top five Warframes this Banshee. year. And Banshee Prime, well, because I was doing the Banshee Prime Challenge with Pablo, and mm. I could have won if I had this skin. Put it at the top. So this Ban yeah. 
She's getting a void shell. And then our next one is Loki will be getting a void shell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the, the Loki player in the and audience. Loki's also getting some tweaks this update. He is, so he's getting yes. some buffs. An augment as well. An augment as well. Decoy is getting uh, some looks at. So yeah, he'll be getting a void shell. So oh, and the most important thing, customizable invisibility. So you yes. can, yeah, so you can actually see that skin that you paid money for. While you're invisible. <laughs> while you're invisible. Damn, what a game. Yeah. And then last but not least, <laughs> Necros will be getting a Void Shell skin. Bone Daddy. Oh, there he is. Yes, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, he's the, yeah, he's one of the, well, I remember the Necros update. Update 10? That's kind of when I came was that around. Update, 10? update 9, I nine, think. 9, 9, 9, nine or 10. ten -ish, yeah, yeah that I was Lephantis. <laughs> yeah, <ooh. laughs> lived a long time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and another little fun thing we're doing. <gasps> Do you want to set the stage for this? It's a bit silly. Since the dawn of time, oh, crap. <laughs> we have had cosmetic bunny ears in Warframe that we shave off every year. Those bunny ears. As it should be. But, oh, boo. but <laughs> <laughs> with no one can stop me, <laughs> they put all this tech into the fur upgrades for Kubros. So as you know, your Kubros are going to look better. They have new fur graphics. And we were like, well, what if the bunny ears got fur and then we made them permanent? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> yeah, we have a little video to show you what that could look like. New Kubro fur. To look at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. come on. So yeah. these are going to be launching April 3rd, doing a little seasonal April uh, little vibe there. So you'll be able to pick these up permanently. Yeah. If you would like to. Look at them. Yeah. Look how great they are. Yeah, and you, they, they're color customizable. They have beautiful, um, like, in, I think if you see them in different lighting, they'll have really realistic uh, bunny ear textures. And you know, it's one of those things that if you don't like them, you don't want to see them around, I'm sorry, uh, but the people that do want them <laughs> sorry, should Jim. be able to have them. Yeah, I'm totally Seymour Skinner right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no. There's a cohort of people that agree with you, but at the end of the day, I've heard it for too long to, you know, maybe in a year I'll change my mind and rip them off. Oh. No, just like the wings, they're there for <laughs> I they're Oh, for good. don't bring yeah. out the wings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, those are just a couple of fun things coming in Dante and Bound. Again, launching next week, all platforms, uh, March 27th. Mm -hmm. Not the bunny ears, though. You Not the bunny ears, for April 3rd. Really key, key, important thing. Yes. Now let's move into something that has not been teased, not been accidentally revealed, no one's guessed it, who our next Prime Warframe could be. Any guesses on who the next Prime any, Warframe Any guesses? Oh, yeah. I heard Excalibur. <laughs> 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 Version 2? Maybe? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, Protea. Oh, hi. Protea Prime is our next Prime. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! That's crazy. What a shocker. <laughs> Does she have a universal aura polarity by any chance? She might. Okay. She might. She's the best. Any Protea players out here? Uh, yes. I know you're, yeah, you're a main. Lots of Protea players. So Protea Prime is going to be coming up. Uh, here she is in kind of her different stage <laughs> stages. Uh, visor up, visor down, whatever it is uh, you decide to do. Uh, the team really um, was, it, was cool to watch them work on this. They wanted to give her, keep her kind of, you know, mech and tech, but also like kind of flower influences. She is as well. named after a flower. The Protea is the South African flower. And of course, her gear will also be primed as well, her turrets, her belts. If you've slept on Protea, I cannot emphasize enough how good her... She's legit. Yeah, she is yeah. so fun. Yeah. This is not me trying to sell you another microtransaction either. She's just a great <laughs> frame. You will like her, I swear. But of course, without any prime is prime weapons. Uh, so she will come with the Velux Prime, um, which is the... Uh, the artist is Vadim here, who did the concept, and then Vl Vladimir did the uh, render for this, yeah. the model for this. So it looks amazing. She'll be getting the Velux Prime. Then the Okina Prime as well, dual daggers. Bet you forgot about those, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good weapon. It's cool. It's our only Psy. It's been a minute. And then accessory-wise, she'll be coming with the Roptrine Prime Psy Dana, uh, concepted here by Corey beautifully, and uh, Fyodor did the uh, rendering here for it as well, the model. Maybe. So she look, looks beautiful. Uh, and she'll also have a little bonus alternate Helmet. Look at the movement on that. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Moving parts. Moving parts. They're and she'll important. also come with a sci or a ephemera, but I just, we don't have an asset for that yet, so you'll just have to wait for so that. So you could spoil the frame, but not the ephemera. Yeah, I'm keeping that one close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're not allowed to see it. 
So yeah, Protea Prime will be our next Prime uh, joining us. Will she have a trailer? She, she actually will. <gasps> They're yeah. working on it right now. Oh. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. Gauss Prime trailer yeah. era. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That's I had to, yeah, I did have to warn the team. I think... I think they learned their lesson. Yeah. Like, Gauss took a lot out of them, so they're... <laughs> oh, you make it sound so punishing. They learned their lesson was... for making that awesome trailer. <laughs> it's not they like had a lot that. of fun doing it, but I think leading up to TennoCon, they're kind of approaching Proteus. Yeah, yeah, we have this really yeah. tough... Well, not tough, but there's a lot coming that we'll get to in the stream, which the, sc the scope of her trailer is not as much as Gauss. Yeah. That came at a time mm. between. But it's very cool. It's amazing, though. It's very cool. So watch it when it's out, but remember <laughs> this talk. I know, I feel like we underhyped it. I, I know. <laughs> it'll be great. <laughs> Speaking of it'll be great, Warframe is not the only game that Digital Extremes is working on. <laughs> Soul what Frame. Setup is that? What could, yeah. Speaking <laughs> what of could that be? It's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, talk to us. How's Soul Frame? Oh, Megan, you're a good <laughs> champion. I always get insecure talking to our ninjas about the game where you can pet rabbits. Um, uh, but, <laughs> but we have rabbit ears now. <laughs> oh. It's full circle. <laughs> Um, I'm sure some of you have heard us talk about Soulframe uh, before, but those who don't know, it's the game that we're working on. It's very much a sister project to Warframe, why we embrace the, the Soulframe branding. Uh, it's right now in its very early, early closed alpha that we're calling our Preludes build, and uh, we're handing out keys uh, to people to play it. And this, what this is doing is helping, you know, partially new team get used to the production cycle of a live service game, but it's also helping us kind of make something stable and kind of get updates on. And we're getting really good feedback from the, the player base that we have now in our Discord mm -hmm. that Sarah is collecting for us. So this is just a little highlight reel of um, kind of what you can see in our Prelude build. And if people still want to have access to it, um, just to clarify, like you still can get access to this. It's not closed off. You just have to go to soulframe.com and sign up. And this might be news for the team back home. Oh, no. Uh, we have ambitions to kind of get a pretty good wider release for this uh, this year. Uh, we're talking about what our founders program can kind of be with, with that. Um, it'll be a bit more of an open concept one. It won't be as ex exclusive as Warframe. So there will be more details to come with that. But I think we're going to be sending upwards of maybe 2,500 keys out a week. Uh, so by all means, uh, sign up and keep checking your email. Early days. It's very early much like days. Warframe's yes. early days. It's yeah. feeling very familiar. Yes, it is. Back to those old days. But, mm -hmm. right. but you brought yeah. a little treat with you. you yeah, a little highlight you. reel of our Fey Pact that you can play as in, in Preludes. All right, let's check it out. Where yon the veil did I chance to see you? Little minnow in the clear. A foundling here of mother's sorrow. Conveyed to me by beaver, by sparrow. Blighted, yes, or so they say. More righted, though, in feyish way. Come gather moats of loving world. Come gather arms against old and herd. And join our family beyond your blood. For blight is child of everyone. Even bears. A bear in a trailer is a risky move these days since Baldur's Gate. I didn't. <laughs> I'm so glad you mentioned that to me after. I didn't even think about that. It was amazing. <laughs> so yeah, so awesome work with the team back in London working on that. Yeah, and we'll have, you know, obviously more to share at Ten Ocon, yes. perhaps. We'll definitely give more insights and We have a thirty minute demo yeah. again. Thirty we minutes. We probably got a little too ambitious. <laughs> you guys last Ten Ocon, sorry about that. We'll uh yeah. It's, We're figuring you guys out. should be very proud. It's very yeah. cool. I'm very excited. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have a key? No, still no. Mm, I don't know. Nah. <laughs> That's all right. So there's lots to look forward to for Soulframe, Preludes. We have Tenocon coming up, Dante Unbound next week. 
But that's not all for Warframe that we've been cooking up. Yes, there is. So to set the stage, as you know, Whispers in the Wall launched in December of last year. Hopefully, you all got a chance to play it. If you haven't, it's there. It's free. It's not going anywhere. And we're doing Dante Unbound next week. We're adding some pretty interesting deep Archimedia cons consecutive missions. Lots coming. We've talked about that update to death, so I shall speak no more on it. But we're trying to get an update out between Dante and Tenocon. So we know Tenocon's July 19th, and we know Dante's next week. So in the background, in addition to 1999, we've been working on a story that I think we've wanted to tell for the better part of two years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least. At it's least. Been, it's been talked about for, for a while. So we're really going to try, and we'll keep you posted dev stream after dev stream on how things are tracking towards it. But one of the most beloved and interesting and sometimes friend, sometimes foe characters in Warframe is the Stalker. So Ooh. we <laughs> have an update dedicated to the Stalker mm -hmm. that we're hoping to come soon. We'll talk about it a lot next dev stream. But mm -hmm. this is a really important topic for us for a lot of reasons. You know, Whether you're new to Warframe or you've been with us for a long time, if you've played every quest and then some, you know the role he plays in the identity of the Tenno, of, like I said, friend or foe, who is he, what is he about? So why don't we take a first look at, well, you can, you can intro it, and I can talk about it more once we see what I'm talking about. We have a picture. Well, before we show that picture, <laughs> before we show that picture. Oh my god, there's more. All right. So, no, you're OK. Uh, last year, we showed you a different picture, Urelli Deluxe. Uh, yeah, we're going to show you so many pictures. More pictures. Uh, Urelli Deluxe uh, is going to be in this update that we are talking about. So here's her uh, concept that Manoush worked on, render Isaias. And this isn't the final form, but we wanted to show you kind of the progress on here because we showed you the concept art last year. Uh, so she'll be coming with her Deluxe Marilina, as we can see see here, and yes. then as well the Compressa Deluxe will be coming if you are a Urella user, who's also getting some uh, an augment in That's Dante right. Unbound. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, if, if, if you haven't given her a shot, since, you know, depending on where you get your Warframe news, if you play yourself, the skin is gorgeous, it's very edgy looking, and then you can actually play with her, of course, even now, and she's kind of kick-ass, so yes, enjoy. But now to that picture you were alluding to. Okay, yeah, to. so <laughs> Megan, Megan's photo show is done. Okay, <laughs> let us speak on Jade Shadows. Mm. Here you see something, all of this is brand new. It'll probably take you a while to parse what's actually going on here. Uh, but it's setting the stage for, maybe you can guess what that is lurking in the background. Obviously, soccer gets from place to place using some type of landing craft of his own. Uh, so that'll, that'll be perhaps his. And then Jade stands in the forefront. 57th Warframe. <laughs> holding a weapon of her, her own design, and you'll learn a lot about all that. In a, This will be, at this time, <laughs> out before it, we're all looking to start. <laughs> we're going to be glued to the leather chairs with sweat after this, out of fear. But this is going to be a cinematic quest update uh, from mm -hmm. the stalker's point of view. It has a very cool script, and yep. there is cinematics in production for it. Yes. So it's, yeah, the shovels are in the ground. Yep. So. And our goal is to get it out to you before Tenocon, and we'll keep you posted on how we're tracking for that. But we'll, there's going to be a lot we won't tell you, because we want you to kind of go into the quest pretty blind. Yep. Uh, but we'll give you enough so you can at least get a sense of what the update's about, when it might be coming out, and at what point in the game you need to be to play it, right? So you don't want to you know, convince your friend to play it, and then they have to you know, grind the whole story before they can get there. So we'll give you all the info that you would need to successfully enjoy Jade Shadows. We're also hoping to do another clan event with it mm. uh, to give you some, uh, another way just to earn you know, arcane farm and other things similar to how we did with uh, Gargoyle's Cry. So this is a sometime between, <laughs> it's definitely not in March, because that's Dante, so that's a write-off. <laughs> Certainly not going to be ready in April. So sometime between May, June, and Tenocon, we'll, we'll maybe this. <laughs> Perfect. Confidence. <laughs> Lots of wiggle room. Like it. It's yeah. fine. But yeah, we're excited for this one. And that's Jade, which means, does anyone know what that means if we have a Warframe that starts with a J? <laughs> There's only one letter we don't have. What's the letter? U. J is the, the second last letter we need. Rub's very I, adamant This is like this. her top priority. Yeah, sticky corners, <laughs> sticky Warframe. Corners the alphabet. With every oh, alphabet. I can't wait. Oh my god. Yeah. All that, right. That'll be the day. Umbra doesn't, <laughs> Umbra doesn't count because it's Excalibur Umbra. If the Arsenal said Umbra Excalibur, <laughs> I, you'd probably win in court, but in this court, <laughs> it's the stage. Yeah. Case <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Probably what you've been waiting to hear about more is... The alphabet. The alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> Numerical alphabet, 1999. Oh, what's that? You tell me, Reb. Hmm, okay. Uh, what is 1999? This is a Warframe update that you are going to learn about from now at TennoCon. We're really excited to bring you into a very different style of update, but it's still core Warframe in every way. That, that I promise you. Uh, it is indeed a Warframe update. The setting, the story, the characters, like any you know, Warframe update, they're going to be new. Arthur, of course, is the, the what we're calling the, the poster man. T take Excalibur, <laughs> our poster boy. And then Excalibur is Excalibur. He is not Arthur. They are different uh, characters, just so people don't think we've taken your arsenal Excalibur and you know, turned him into Arthur. You'll meet Arthur. What happens in your meetings is TBD. You'll have to watch TennoCon to find out. But this is a, uh, a major update that we're, that we're working on. And um, like all our major updates, it's going to be risky. Uh, it's going to be very narrative focused. And we're bringing as much new as we can. And today, we're here to talk a little bit about it and show you some things. Uh, and then, of course, at TennoCon, even more. But we, <laughs> we won't leave you hungry today that much, I, I pledge. Nice. What else? Anything to say? <laughs> I don't know. What is I, I'm just, as like someone kind of on the periphery of it, I just, I'm kind of blown away by the, the size of it, just the amount of content that's being made already. And I think even just calling it an update is a bit of an undersell for... Oh. I just don't want the, anyone to like, leave a headline, Warframe makes yeah. another game or something. No, it's, like, it's not, not a single player, <laughs> unless some people thought it was a single player no. spin-off. I think some not. people did think it was like Warframe 2 or something. It's actually Warframe 1999. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Bad yeah. numbers. And it, yeah, it's, it's really, a, a, it's going to be a different, weird, fun chapter in Warframe. Of course, it'll be free. Uh, those nipples stay on, and <laughs> <laughs> but you can tint them, uh, which, oh. which is mm, customizable. No <laughs> Yeah, well, we do what we must. Delicious. Uh, but yeah, we have a <laughs> we have a, um, a special guest. Is this a special guest time? I don't or, know if our special guest uh, is. Is he, he might, is he awake? He literally. Okay, can I yell? Wake up, Ben. Three, two, one. <laughs> wake up, Ben. <laughs> oh, there he is! Everybody, Ben Star! <laughs> Yay, Ben Star! <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> and what brings you here today? Um, I'm here to talk about the nap that I just had. <laughs> oh. oh, my God, it was nice. Did we bore you? Um, no, you didn't bore me. You exhausted me. Ah. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time together recently. Sorry about that. No, it's been amazing. Thank you for having me. Welcome. But why have we been spending time with you? Ben? Because if we've you don't been know. we've been working on Warframe 1999. Mm. Um, I'm very excited to get to work on this. Um, when you messaged me and said, "Would you be interested?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I would." Um, <laughs> and it has been a complete joy from start to finish. Um, you guys have embraced me. Thank you to everyone who's come up to me at some point in the past couple of months and said they're excited about it. Um, you are an incredible fan base, and the support that you've already shown me, even before you've seen anything, has been incredible. So I, I really War want to thank you. Warframe community forever and yep. ever, my, my yeah. soulmates. So thank <laughs> you. And now you're here. <laughs> and now I'm here. And so I'm friend. done, everyone. Thank you so <laughs> much for having me. <laughs> uh, to put that into context, you're the voice of Arthur. I'm the voice of Arthur. Who we see here. Yes. yes. Um, so Arthur is a very mysterious character who I am bound by NDA to say very little about. <laughs> um, tiny bit. But I think the most amazing thing about being a part of this opportunity is about exploring a completely new character, exploring kind of the conflict between the humanity and the, and the not human, I think, is really exciting. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been a real treat. He's really cool. He's so cool. He is so, um, cool. <laughs> so cool. I think the problem is I'm not very cool, so I get to play like really cool people and pretend. That's the best thing about being an actor. Um, and it, 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 this is such an amazing update. It's massive, the scope. Uh, what you guys want to do, I think, is really amazing from what you've let me know about. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to show more. Do you want me to 
Do we want to show it now? What's the, what's the, you're, what's you're the, the boss. Vibe? We're looking at, to you for direction. <laughs> I am actually uh, needing more time because it's only 3.34. So. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, we oh. Need, so we need to talk about some other stuff. Um, he's really sexy. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he could be, you know, it's, it's, there's, there's, you know. Like, there's a lot of humanity to it. I think that's what I've, or, what draws me to characters. We're, we've always spoken about how whatever we want to do, we want to make this character relatable. He's going to be a badass. He has a samurai sword and <laughs> like, he looks amazing. And those of you who've played Whispers in the Wall, you got the first opportunity to play mm -hmm. him and you heard some of my <laughs> yeah. um, So thank you for yeah. that. Thank you for the hers. Yeah, you're so yeah. welcome. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of <laughs> um, <laughs> It's really cool. Um, so you kind of get an idea of what he's going to be like. Um, but he's not a, he's alone in that. Um, he is. But he's talking to someone. Did anyone pick up? Uh, and this is the opposite of the Q&A. This is our Q&A to you. <laughs> if you played Whispers in the Walls, did you hear something? And feel free to yell it out if you know. There's, we're among friends here. Like, I heard a mag back there. Hmm. Mm. So we're going to like take you with us. We're going to show you proto frame mag, but not till we're ready. So you're going to see her today. I feel like we're ready now. You just told everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it was obvious if you played the update. Eh, I guess, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. we should talk a little bit about what a proto, like, so Excalibur is a Warframe and Arthur is a proto frame. Mm. So just to start giving you, like, if you're here and you work on our wiki or something and you want to start, you know, uh, doing some seed pages there, uh, proto frames will be introduced. Perhaps you've seen some scribbles on Albrecht and Trotty's walls in the uh, in Trotty tile set. So you'll get a little, a little sense of what's coming there. Mm -hmm. And we were talking earlier about how they're very they're two different yes. things. Like there's Excalibur and then there's right. Arthur. And they're meant to and be. And then there's Ben. And then not Arthur. Ben. So if me. Arthur says something you don't agree with in game. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. come to me. Um, <laughs> there'll be a P.O. box that you can send all of your complaints and questions to. <laughs> and, which, and, I, and I'm really nice. I'll respond to every single one. I don't know about that. Mm, I will. Santa doesn't reply to me ever. So. Yeah, no, we <laughs> yeah. spoke about that yesterday. Yeah. This is deep law people don't need to know about. Yeah, we talked about Santa yesterday. We talked about, and this is, we've got to kill some time. Yeah. So we, <laughs> yeah. We, well, Megan loves Christmas. I so. think this is really great stuff. It's really worth the Warframe <laughs> live dev stream. No, it's not. It is. No, it, it's not. Where did you send your message to Santa when you were a kid? Did you send it to like a little, po we had a little post box at the supermarket where I send okay. it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the, but we're happy to announce we have a Santa microtransaction yeah. for Warframe coming. <laughs> and I think um, that's what we really wanted to push was all of the microtransactions. Micro that we're yeah, and today. You, you, actually Arthur will be silent in the quest unless you pay for the Ben yeah. line. One dollar per line. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> because that's, and soul frames the same, right? Like. Oh man, don't get me in trouble. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> we're good, right? we're good. All right, fine, speaking of Santa, <laughs> We brought a gift to you. We did. Did we? Yes. Yes, we're allowed to talk about that now. Now that I filled it seamlessly. <laughs> <Yes>. um, <laughs> uh, we wanted to show you something really cool that we've been working on because um, when we're talking you? about humanity, we're allowed to? When we're talking about humanity, you, do, you don't understand and can perceive humanity without reacting to others. And Arthur may be the poster boy, but he is certainly not alone. And uh, today we wanted to show you a really cool thing Am I allowed to? Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a little sneak peek of um, what you might experience in the coming months and years. <laughs> months and years. All right, play the video. Let's watch 
watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch it for 50 more minutes. No, uh, shout out to obviously the team back home. They really rallied together to put that all together. Mm-hmm. The but the bike? What was yeah? What's can the, we talk about that? a bike? That's called the Atomic Cycle. So Atomic Cycle, the Atomic Cycle. It's going to be something we'll talk a lot more about at Tenocon. Mm-hmm. You can call it Atomy for short. The Atom. So many ways. I'm very jealous. Of the, oh, is I'm that right? Very jealous of it. Well, it's, it's going to have a pretty big role. Yeah, it's so. Right. so. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be something that will be very clear to you how we're going to integrate that into 1999. Um, and I'm very, very excited for that as a little bit of a, you yeah. know, you just call me a gearhead. I don't know. <laughs> I've never actually been on a motorcycle. I'm not allowed. So this is the it. problem is also we want to say so much. I know. Kind of calm. It's yeah. like, don't worry, trust us, guys. It's really cool. Yeah, you'll <laughs> love it. Uh, but yeah, so that is, uh, that's a very important part of the, the the foundation of 1999, what you just saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think it's the stuff that I've seen and that you've allowed me to be a part of makes me very, very excited. And I think it's the Warframe that you know and love, but just ever so slightly different. And I think it's quite exciting. It is core Warframe, just to make that super clear. Like you are the, going there, you'll see how, you'll see in what ways, but mm. you and your Warframe experience will be in 1999. There's not, um, it's not, I don't know, it's not Duveri, or I'm a, I'm a lead, but like it, it's, it's, it's Warframe, mm-hmm. but Duveri's obviously, awesome. So obviously, we have Ben Starr as Arthur, and Meg Awi, as you heard in there, is voiced by Alpha Takashi, so if you've played Cyberpunk 2077, uh, she has, a, yes, yeah. Cyberpunk, uh, she has her voice in there as well, so it was really cool to work with her, and you'll Cream. obviously hear a lot more about her uh, in 1999. That's right. At Tenocon. Yes. Yes, and the, the designs and such to come are, you know, we have lots of road ahead for all things 1999. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, we are on to the Q&A portion <laughs> of this stream. Whoa. Yeah, we're a bit early. So if anyone wants to do any questions to us, anyone on this panel, there's a microphone right there. Go ahead and line up. Oh, I see hands shooting up. And there's also a microphone on the other side if you want to, if Two you don't microphones. mind turning both lines. And we have our uh, staff there that can help. But yeah, we, because we don't have our Twitch chat up and we're usually engaging with chat yeah, and giving away prizes, so we're kind of being jokers. But uh, <laughs> we are so super, super excited to do live Q&A. Oh my gosh. Back in the day. Okay, this is going to take some time. No, that's good. It. We have time. No, our dev streams used to be all about Q&A. So mm-hmm. doing it live is a very, very fresh uh, Fresh vibe. So uh, you there in the, is that a Revengeance shirt? Is that the Uniqlo Metal Gear shirt? Uh, Hell oh. yeah, dude. <laughs> yep. What is your question? Raiden for life. When will my man Caliban get some buffs? Oh. oh. <laughs> I, bet, I bet half the room's going to sit down because everyone has that question. That's a strong response. I know. Um, <laughs> to be honest, if I could say something now, I would. But he is very much under the uh, the. the the gaze of Pablo, we'll call it. Can we just say, start making promises for Pablo? No, for Pablo, here? Pablo. Uh, if Pablo were here, he'd say, "Ask me at Tenocon." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for your question. You. Great shirt. Great shirt. All right, we're over here now. Hi. Whoa. Hello. What is your question? Are any of the other Warframes going to be getting reworks, like Loki is? Um, we are doing the Inaros rework with Dante Unbound. We actually do have our sights set on someone, I won't say who. And then Loki, we actually aren't considering reworking because we're worried about, uh, well, I'm going to speak for Pablo a little bit, because him and I talked about this, and it was kind of the, the meta of Loki's peak versus Warframe now. If we went into a direction that would take away a lot of his identity, we wouldn't be happy. So it's kind of like as simple as we don't really have any great ideas at the same time. And because of that, not a priority, especially since some other frames are a little more bruised, let's say. But yeah, I'm sorry for the Loki lovers out there, but no rework is planned or ideated. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going back to this microphone. Hello, hi. But, well, before you ask a question, I would like, because I think this would be fine, can every person strike a pose when the light lands? <laughs> oh. I think that would be to, like, surprise us, like, make it fun. Yeah. You don't have to, but yeah. also, maybe. <laughs> Should I strike a pose right now? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. That's good. 10 out of 10. <laughs> All right, so my question has to do with, like, the newest trailer. I saw Meg, and I was like, she looks so cool. Uh, what inspired that design? If you can answer that. Liger. L- Liger is Li- a lot of work into this. Liger. Yeah. Liger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Liger did uh, Arthur and Owie. Uh, we had a very, we have a, 
you'll see more, pro well, I'm not going to say anything else. Uh, we had a very specific vision for, e for those two proto frames. Uh, Arthur being sort of the, <laughs> the boy scout that we're calling the boy man. Man, man scout. <laughs> scout, no, man. Scout, scout man. Scout man. Scout man. Scout. Scout. Not boy scout. Man, man scout, scout. Which is totally weird without context. <laughs> uh, and then Owie, we really wanted um, to, to bring a version of Mag as the proto frame that we felt could just deliver on a nice contrast to, to Arthur. So yeah. Liger took it. And there is a, there's a unit theme, yeah. which is why they kind of have military gear yes. mm. on them. Yeah. So if you were to see <laughs> potentially other proto-frame designs, they might, they might share other similar yeah. aesthetics. Yeah. All right, Poe is over on stage right. Hi. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. I, respect I like it. it. I respect it. Uh, I have two questions. One. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure there's been like distaste for pseudo exalted weapons and their stat sticking. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, if you do get rid of that interaction, um, any thoughts on how pseudo exalted weapons would be buffed to compensate? And then my second question is a lot of the later game players, um, most of what you're doing is trading. Mm -hmm. So any thoughts on improvements as for the ease of use in the trading, like some integrations from Warframe Market, for example. Yeah. Uh, the stat stick and buff question, it, that's basically a, you cannot separate those two in my mind. Like if we touch stat sticks, we would have to buff the exalt, or the pseudo exalteds, or we would have to treat them as true exalteds. We have not done anything beyond talk about it. So I could pull up a Slack conversation with Pablo, like, are we going to do anything about stat sticks? I think it's really opaque that a player can't get the most out of Korra if they don't know to use like the mm -hmm. ceramic, ceramic dagger with the incarnate, with the ribbon, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, and that just doesn't feel good to, to have hidden. but. We're not really going to do anything anytime soon, to be quite honest, uh, because we don't have a great idea. But if we did, we would certainly not leave uh, them in their unstat st st state, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then for trading, right now, trading chat is has become, like you said, it's an end game uh, garden where people are doing ribbon trading, relic trading. I think. If we increase the visibility on filters, it might help like 1% of the players. But otherwise, we've shopped around the idea of having a separate ribbon trade chat at the very least. But in terms of what the functionality Warframe market offers, in terms of like offline or, or, or effectively like item posting, we haven't thought too much about. So, mm -hmm. But otherwise, I hope those are somewhat OK answers to your very good questions. I got a thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Spotlight over here. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Very right. uh, um, So this is mainly a question about the Drifter. Um, oh. I know on the profile, when you check the player's profile, you can see their operator, but mm -hmm. you can't really see the Drifter. Is there going to be any changes to let people see their Drifter maybe sometime Yeah, soon? we probably should, because ever since the Daviri Paradox, there's yeah. no point in hiding them. Yeah. yeah so, for sure. dear Digital Extremes team at home, <laughs> if you're watching, yeah. the Drifter flag is no longer needed, so sayeth the Boston cohort. I mean, it could also have I mean, all three at once, too. You have your operator to oh. and your Warframe. Maybe. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Drop <laughs> um, I guess a bonus question. Maybe uh, new outfits for Drifter, too? Like Ooh. Maybe a nice oh. trench coat? No? Were, nice. um, the Dante... Oh, that is... Nice. <laughs> really Dante. The, the Dante... Up, oh, you're talking about Entrati's trench coat. Maybe. Oh. Uh, oh. What if you could have that in... Never mind. Um, uh, uh, I right. saw something. I saw something too. I don't know what I saw. Um, <laughs> there's two Drifter outfits that are coming upsized from the, in the Dante Unbound. Yeah, update. like the operator version can fit yeah, your Drifter. Yeah, we're, we're, we're putting two operator outfits in the Drifter machine. I, I was going to ask that as well, but <laughs> yeah. I figured the trench coat would be more important. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, it's, it is important. You're the trench right. coat is important. Yes. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Very nice. Hello. Hello. Hi. First off, Mr. Star, I just want to let you know that I'm a huge fan. Your performance as Clive Rosfield in FS16 oh. was phenomenal. <laughs> yes! Thank you. My actual question now is, so I've been playing Warframe for about 10 years, humble flex. <laughs> <laughs> and I am legendary rank four. Ooh. I was wondering if there are plans to add more of an incentive to reach those legendary ranks and more rewards for players like us besides just to make it standing and voice trace, voice trace caps uh, increases? Um, so we added the slates. We added the relay blessing. I think the social benefits might be 
co a cool angle for us to explore. Like, I think the mass three rank font blessing and relays, the social benefits of being a high rank player is a bit unexplored. Mm. Uh, but in terms of like an actual tactical reward or incentive, um, it's, I'm thinking more in the social direction right now, but otherwise, I, I don't know. I'm Thank you for your answer. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thank you. Your question. Congrats on legendary rank four. You're one rank higher than me for now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, when, when's and where? When's infested liches, Meg? Oh my God. Okay, maybe we should at least give the children a reprieve and say, "Watch Tenocon." <laughs> You just said it, so watch Tenocon. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, is that you? <laughs> watch Tenocon. That's all I got. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shrink. Metal Gear shirt oh. number two. Oh, my God. So Metal Gear. That's the second Metal Gear shirt. So I'm seeing this Warframe 1999. Um, I don't know if you guys remember a little game on the PS3. Uh, called Dark Sector. Oh. Oh. And uh, I'm kind of seeing a little bit of influence here. And oh. like Excalibur is like kind of your guy's mascot in a way. <laughs> you can take, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to take that one, Jeff, because you're the OG. You were here. Sector. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about that kind of today about how when we made Warframe, like when we first, like, it was kind of a desperation and we had to make something to survive and we dipped into the pool of content that we had that we never released. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what, Warf what Warframe was built on was the sci-fi version of Dark Sector that never came to be. Mm -hmm. um, so there's kind of like this really poetic full circle thing where you're building Warframe 99 on inspiration, you know, kind of based on what Dark Sector was when it shipped. Because yeah. uh, there is a lot of even kind of like the, the, the setting for where it takes place. Yeah, the code names are the same the internally, same, yeah. but so, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, so I think it's kind of cool that there's like this little homage to DE again, kind of mm -hmm. coming back up. Keeping the dream alive. Yeah, cool. One day. So yeah, very. Yeah, thanks yep. for spotting that. Yep. That's a that's a great. Very one. accurate. Is is there like a plan for a remaster? No, or no. no. <laughs> oh, <sorry. Not> 1999 <laughs> is the remaster. No. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm kidding. I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. There are You're, dozens of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> All right, spotlight over here. Oh! <laughs> He's meditating. Okay. Oh, oh, this will be a good question. So my question is, you've already introduced some of the proto frames. Is there going to be fashion proto frames? Oh. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> and that's all I'll say on that. Very yeah. Good. The answer yeah. is you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, a little Albert and Trotty. Um. Is Great Prime ever going to come oh. back since you're doing the update to the bunny ears? Oh, oh, oh you're, you're keeping a list of all the things that we've <laughs> joked about? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I think bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, that was an April Fool's joke, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, anything. Jeff, can we, can we bring Great can we Prime great back? Prime? <laughs> you didn't listen to me about the ears, so. Yeah. Um, well, I think uh, I think it's confirm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 If, if, if we can get Arthur to say a line about it, then we'll. Yeah, I'll just say it and put it in the game. Yeah, it's perfect. We work. It's it's a collaborative, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, there's no reason not to, other than. That's a good callback, though. Yeah. Great prime. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I see a Leon Kennedy jacket in the dark. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Were you in Meg Reb? Um, so question, two questions actually. Um, is Oplink ever going to come back to the game in oh, some form? Squad Link. Oh. This comes from Squad Link. Scarlet Spear, RIP. Yeah. <laughs> it was so cool it, like during when you showed it last Tenocon and I was like, you what happened? Right <laughs> so, um, <laughs> in, not in the way you might think, but it's certainly it is not six feet under at the office. Like, it's in an urn, and it's being, like, on life support. It's definitely not <laughs> dead and gone. Uh, I can't say anything other than that right now, but if you liked it and you liked how it made you feel when you were playing connected to another squad with Squad Link, Op Link, uh, we're, we're, we're experimenting really early days with something that we hope you would love. If, that's, if it works out in the tests, we'll talk more about it um, at Tenocon, but it's certainly not Did dead you say it was in an urn? Yeah. That's pretty dead. <laughs> Someone didn't play Baldur's Gate 3. Ashes well. can be... Yeah, no, no. It's not, it's not earned dead. It's, 
Yes, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I just love the idea Same. of how, like all my like Tano friends, a 16, everyone just mm -hmm. in space on the ground fighting. That would be so cool. I know. It, it is, it is it, it's not, okay, it's not totally dead. It's mostly dead, but not totally. <laughs> That's all, that's all I can say. Second question, just one more. Oh, um, so, oh wait, hold oh, on, second question. Too. Oh, no, oh, no. Sorry, right, <laughs> I didn't take up too much too much time. Um, so what, did anyone ever actually go to space? No, you guys they took had the that? money. They, they took, took the, money. the money and ran. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good as far for, as I know. Good for them. Good for them. Honestly, yeah. 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 They made the right choice. I don't blame them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, now the pose. There it is. Oh, my God. First time I've seen that. Hi, so... Uh, the question that I have is with the, all, the, all the lore for Warframe, uh, all the, the characters, the, uh, everything that you have, have you, has anybody at Digital Extremes ever considered making a tabletop game for it, like a TTRPG or even a war game? Um, yes. So the galaxy of like minis that you could have. I mean, you could. I mean, look at Games Workshop. You could blow them. You know, blow them out completely out of the water. Uh, no, um, I don't know. And I'd rather give money to you than them any day of the week. So um, microtransactions. Um, yeah, microtransactions. Yeah, like you know, like let me let me buy my you know like Excalibur with whatever you know weapons assortment. Um, so if I just wonder if you guys ever considered it. There's like, I know one of our content creators is making a homebrew D&D &D thing uh, using their, I guess not d and I don't know if we're allowed to say, well, like it's homebrew, so it's, you know. Um, we, TTRPG. TTRPG. TTRRPG. We haven't pursued it seriously, but we're all big fans of that type of entertainment. It's just a matter of, do we have the time? <laughs> like, like that stalker update probably won't come out for another year, <laughs> but yeah, it's a time thing. We love it. It we would endorse unofficial and for fun and fan versions of it, but until we actually take the plunge to, mm -hmm. to take it seriously, we probably won't have time this year. But okay. I, I agree with uh, you. Yep. Second question. Uh, have you ever considered kit frames? Like, like, like the Zaw or like the kit guns uh, where you build your own thing or the actually, amps? Maybe, except it's a frame, so you get the you pick your own chassis, maybe, you pick your own your optics, yeah, maybe and you, you can build yeah. your own like your frame, that frame is yours. Mm. Minky had a concept for that a long yeah. time ago, a like a, a modular frame, but I think they're, yeah. So we have considered it, it just, it didn't seem shippable, I think. It was mm. scope scary. Sco sure. Yeah, like yeah. we wouldn't release a Warframe for a year if we did that, which I guess like at the end of the day, you get a whole bunch of Warframes because of modularity, oh. but yeah. Yeah, you get like infinite frames that way. Yeah. All right, thank you. It's the thank perfect you. exploit, infinite microtransactions. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. That's hard to hold, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you. You know me? I've never seen you before. <laughs> oh, except online, except online. Uh, Who are you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are you doing here? You haunt my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was a little curious, being that you know you took over as creative director. Are you personally happy with the way that the movement works in Warframe at this very moment, or do you find it at all stagnant at all, the classic bullet jump into the roll into the... <laughs> Are you asking me pre- or post-sticky corners? Because that's a very loaded <laughs> question. Uh, post-sticky corners, uh. I would say. And uh, the, just secondarily, also, I'm not super familiar with it, but is Soulframe going to be taking a lot of the movement from Warframe, or is it very different? So I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's it's very much the inversion of Warframe inversion. Deli deli deliberately. It's a, it's going to be a slower paced, more thoughtful kind of approach to yeah. the combat. I always thought it'd be interesting to explore wall running in its original state as like a skunk works project. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I love it. I love. I think it's the best moving playing game in the third person space. Uh, I think it's incredible bullet yeah. jumping. Aim gliding. Once you get good at it, it's hard to go back to games that don't have bullet jumping and aim gliding. For instance, every other game I play and try and bullet jump in doesn't work. Uh, but but the wall running, I think, does have like a, if it, if there was anything I was going to say like oh maybe we could bring the wall running in a mm -hmm. 3.0, I would explore that. That's pretty much the only thing that I could have thought of was oh. the because otherwise you I'm do, very content with it. I you was do haunt my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I was just curious if you liked it. I thank do. you very much. Walt, thank you. Uh, oh, he's a thinker. He's a thinker. <laughs> he's a no thinker. question, just posing. <laughs> yeah, yep, no, no questions at all. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, somebody uh, asked my dark sector question before, so oh. I'm going to pivot into a two-parter. Oh. Um, the first question is actually soul frame related. Um, 
I remember Nintendo Con, you talked about how you were actively trying to avoid the grittier fantasy. Uh, cozy fantasy was the uh, word that was used before. Were there any other inspirations? A lot of the way that, like even in the trailer, mm -hmm. The way that the character talks, it's very, um, I'm going to flub the saying, but it's a diametic, uh, iambic, tan iambic, iambic pentameter. Tan <laughs> Thank you. So there's, feels like there's a lot of other things, like mm -hmm. almost Shakespearean things to it. So um, how did that work in terms of drawing from different inspiration? Um, yeah, like we're, I don't know, Steve and I kind of were just, it was hard for us to decide to like kind of start something something new so I think we just spent a lot of time talking about uh, figuring out what the themes were that we would make us just as excited to start something new as what we were le like kind of leaving with with warframe um, so we just we really wanted to talk about um, you know as we were talking about it we just got really attached to the ideas of uh, the player as um, a healer force against you know the kind of the, the conflicts that are happening in this world. Um, to simplify it is, you know, nature versus technology. Um, but we wanted to kind of lean into, like, the romance a little bit of it. Not not the romance mm. like Baldur's Gate. Like, oh. romanticism, like the art movement. Um, <laughs> not that, but I don't know. If, you list, if, you've, if you're in Preludes, there's some lines in there that might... Ooh. Mm, I'm not in Preludes, some, so thanks. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> yeah. get in line. Funnily enough, that does uh, yep. lead into my second question. Yep. If you could go on a date with a Warframe. <laughs> <laughs> me, me personally, um, it's Grendel. Uh, oh. lo love me, yeah. love me pub. Yeah. Love me Messiter love Prime. Me yeah. <laughs> love me pulverize, simple yeah. as. Uh, <laughs> can, I ask, uh, can I ask what you would do on that date. No, you cannot. We would just eat. We would just no, eat. No, no, no. No, no, What would you do on the date? You would go out for food. Eat. Just eat. eat some food. Eat. Eat. Just eat. Eat. Just Jeff, all what? around in a public setting. I don't know. Yeah, great. Well, that's what I wanted to hear. Jeff? Oh, man. I was not ready. Be, <laughs> Be careful. If I had a date of Warframe. <laughs> Do you need more time? You can refuse to answer. How ancestral would it be if I said, like, Excalibur? <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you can date yourself. That's fine. Yeah. No, no. That's not my That's thing. so Raphael coded. <laughs> Ooh. That's a Baldur's Gate joke for all you <laughs> tabs out there. Uh, Meg, who I'm, are you going to date? Let, let, let. Who am I dating? Yeah. <sighs> Probably Valkyr. That's your own. Oh, uh, see? Yeah. That, you just followed me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I knew I was going to say that. It's my girl. Who are you going to date? Don't say Lotus. Why choose? Oh, okay. All of them. Okay. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> ben, who are you dating? Can you, can you pick one for me? Can you, can you give me three that I need to choose from? I'm going to, like, just like, I'm, I'm going to, you're going to be with Mirage. I think there's just a. I think it's decided. It's Mirage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What would I do? Um, <laughs> circus act. Okay. And are we, are we at the circus whilst I'm doing the circus act? You are the circus. I am the circus. <laughs> right. I hope that answered your question. <laughs> All right, spotlight over here, I think. Yeah! Ah! Whoa! Um, so for everyone, what was your favorite part of uh, the development for the 99 project? And for Ben, what was your favorite part of voice acting, Archer? Oh. There's some really cool stuff that we haven't announced yet. Um, ab about him, and we did some we did some lines the other day, and I thought they were really <laughs> <laughs> they're cool. Um, no, I my my favorite part about Arthur is how, as with most characters that I like to play, there is something inherently lovable about them, and it's about that. It's about making him a really likable human being, despite his ex his kind of like rough exterior. And the one thing that we're really leaning into is like, how can we give him that, that, that gruff, rough, he's gonna absolutely do things to you, but... <laughs> <laughs> but he's gonna be nice about it. But he's gonna oh, be nice about it. Okay. He's gonna That'd kiss you nice. afterwards. Oh. Um, um, <laughs> but th that, it's been... And, yeah, he's he, he's very cool, and you are giving me a lot of you are giving me a lot of free reign to play in that space, and I very much appreciate um, how much fun we're having. Mm -hmm. And there's some really cool stuff that you're doing with it yeah. that I've very much enjoyed. We got motorcycles, yeah. we got proto frames. Mm. 
Yeah, like I said, I'm very <laughs> jealous. Like I keep trying to sneak in uh, like things to work on with you, but. We allow it, yeah. but yeah, it's, 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 it's a very interesting space for us because I, I think it's quite sacred to take a silent protagonist game like Warframe and introduce characters in the proto-frame concept, so I'm treating it as like a sacred right insofar as it, we're not being flippant about it, they are their own characters, they are not, like that isn't Meg, that's proto-Meg, Owie, that's proto-Excalibur, Arthur, they are different characters, and that, that, that line allows us to have a lot of constraints yeah. for how you as a player interact with your things and then the world itself. And I think that is, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah. Is the ways in which you're exploring that dynamic, I think is really very cool. It's very 90s. Very 90s. So very there's 90s. a lot to look forward to there. They are still their own characters. Yes, that you will learn a lot about. At 10 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Um, Hi. I just have a question for Reb, and then a general question. Reb, what are the things that plague you? The things that plague oh me? Oh my god, what a deep question. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, Don't look at me. <laughs> Jeff Crudo. <laughs> uh, Good thing we've still got a while. <laughs> uh, I find that my plagues are defended by a supportive team, and any time I get a, a bite or an ailment, I'm never alone. So uh, for me, my, my, my plagues, <laughs> they don't get to, they don't have a long lifespan because I'm supported by amazing people that support insecurities. You know, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, so uh, it's nice. Not true. I'm going to be a little <laughs> lame on Rebecca's behalf. Uh, I've genuinely never seen someone care so much. Oh. So it's... <laughs> Like, I, I could, she's so invested. Like, it's like. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> and second question is, when is my girl Titania getting buffs? Oh, that is a controversial question, because she's quite, um, you know, I could see her tribute being a bit more user-friendly in some ways, with, with it's a little hard to remember what each buff does, mm. and I mean, there's other, other AoE uh, uh, debuffs that outscale it a little bit, so if I had to focus on an ability, it would be tribute, but I think her, uh, her four, I mean, those Dex Pixia, they do kill. <laughs> they sure do. But yeah, maybe her tribute would be the first thing to receive tribute. I don't know. But that yeah. would be appreciated. Oh. Noted. Find a titanium man. <laughs> Make us notes. Noted. Notes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh. Hey. Oh. That's is a barrel. That a Warframe sweater? No, you're good. It is? It is. I, I can't really see. Is it a Warframe sweater? You're up it's, it's a Warframe, Warframe backpack. backpack. I knew I recognized it. Wow. What is your question, my friend? This kind of falls in line with one of the previous questions asked uh, about... Uh, who would you date, or which Warframe oh, okay. would you date? Um, I love this And game. that is, which NPC do you think that you would be most likely to be besties with? Ooh. NPC besties. I have an answer already. Arthur? <laughs> you already no, no, just because he's really great. Um, Fibonacci. Oh. Because um, Neil's nice. We love you, Neil. Yeah. Um, yeah, who wouldn't want to have, have a great friendship with an ever so slightly cranky fish, mm. you know? <laughs> I just feel like if you don't have a cranky fish as a friend, what's the point? What's the point? Uh, I think for me, I'll call him an NPC. I love Ortis. I think, oh, especially like little, little trash can Ortis, I think he's just the cutest thing, and I think we'd be best friends. I think we'd just be besties. You better say Lotus, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Lotus. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm cool with Lotus. All right. Yeah. I'm cool with Lotus. She's fine. I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is canon. I know. Well, well, that's why I gotta be very careful. Uh, I think I would take. Uh, Hard not to love Little Duck. I was actually going to yeah, say Little Duck. Yeah. Hard yeah. not to love Little yeah. Duck. We'd be besties for sure. Drinking yeah. in the back room? Totally. My totally. God. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Nope. Yep. The darkness. Oh! oh. 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 How do you do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, before I ask my question, I wanted to say, hi, Leon. Hi, Emily. Hi, Mental. I made it. Oh, you made it! <laughs> Anyways, my question today is, now I know that unfortunately Vesso is confirmed dead, yep. but uh, if Tension could have his head crushed in by Era and later reappear in Duveri, where's my treatment for Vesso? Mm. Come on, like, Carl's getting all the love. What about Vesso? 
He died a hero. <laughs> he did. Heroic oh, death. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. We love you. Hoping. you. I'm sure you mean Vico, though. <laughs> Velcro? Uh, you know, Velcro. I, I, I don't know. Everybody has different names. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Ah, uh, very serious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> what, have you all seen Josh Brolin smile? <laughs> I just have just one question. When can we get his brother before you get to the letter U? When can you get his what? His brother. His brother? He's got a brother? Like, yeah. that starts with a U? No, oh. the V. Oh, Virgil! <laughs> That's a devil may cry, right? <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we have motorcycles, so we're kind of maybe the bike can be named Virgil. Yeah, we could. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, maybe. And then you, you can name your bike. Oh, no, I'm not gonna say that. Okay. <laughs> can't ride Virgil in Warframe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My question is about clans. Oh. It's if there's gonna be more touch-ups on either inter-clan inter interactions, mm -hmm. because right now all of it really is just research or doing operations. Mm. So I was wondering if there's going to be more for that, or if you guys are looking more into the future and looking at clan-to-clan -clan interactions, because we haven't really had that since, like, solar rails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so in the in the morgue you have the squad link and oh, the, the urn, urn and then clan. <laughs> uh, and then, no, no, no. Uh, we are do, we are trying to do more clan events as like the first step into uh, social system reignition. reignition. Uh, I think that they they work for the very by the book tasks you can do in a clan. There's opportunity there that we just have not had time to do properly. But I can tell you that in action, the clan event returns, trophies, rallying your players is our focus. Mm -hmm. uh, no leaderboards, so there's no like clan v clan or clan and clan stuff yet. But that that's like a true and real and factual answer for clans. But based on the question, I'll definitely try to do more. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have time for like. Oh my Whoa. god! Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll do like th two more each side, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much time we have. That's more? how much time. So okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> the big timer. Got it. <laughs> so, so real quick, I just wanted to say I haven't played either of these games, but now I'm very interested. <gasps> wow! Hey, well, welcome. Welcome. Yay! <laughs> um, but. I just wanted to say I love your performance as Clive uh, in Final Fantasy, and I was going to see what it would potentially take to get a signature. I have, oh. I have cash. I have a picture oh. of Clive. Oh. Do it! No. Yay! Just oh, so my welcome. God. What a nice guy that Let's make it happen. <laughs> Great. Can we get an enforcer to manage the lot? Like, okay, we'll amazing. do two, and yeah. then... Thank yep. you. <laughs> Thank you. You yeah. please. Oh. All right, we'll do we'll do the question over here. Yeah. <laughs> well, Clive's in uh, Rossfield land. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Um, so I have a question about game development. So I'm curious on how you guys kind of develop characters as a Warframe as a Warframe team. Um, I've noticed a lot of references to mythology in terms of um, you know Atlas and Nasia and you know Dante within Dante's Inferno. Yes. I'm just curious how that all works. It's very much uh, an, like it's a library of devs that have passions. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Excalibur being Excalibur is a reflection of Arthurian and, and you know initial yep. folklore in um, the, the, the Isles. And then it, it, the team just really is diverse and loves really cool shit. And um, <laughs> the, the amount of inspiration we get from people on the team to yeah. name things, to focus on thematically, like we have we have touched eras of lore, myth mythos that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, it's a really, yeah, it's a crazy ecosystem of, you know, we're looking at Greek yep. culture and, and other things and just kind of seeing what sticks. And especially when it comes to Warframes, we were saying this earlier, like, we're still looking at Keith Thompson concepts that we've had for Possibly the ten years. person on Planet Earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, He's Keith. built different, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Handshake. Hi. Uh, hi. Um, First off, I really like the Seto Kaiba t-shirt. The what? Uh, oh, those crazy <laughs> Oh my god, I thought you were talking about him. I was like, like, surely you're talking about my black Thank you, hat. I'm glad you noticed. We can duel later, we'll duel. It's yeah. lovely. Yeah. Finally. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's nothing on that shirt. We'll duel later. We'll duel. I'm sorry to take you back into the morgue. Oh no. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's okay. Void keys. 
Oh. oh. Will there ever be a return to the sort of old void where you would have, you know, um, endless missions that would give you just random prime loot? Um, kind, like, okay, this is, ac we're actually not in the morgue here, we're in ICU. We've <laughs> oh, <up>. excellent. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's is it a, there's visitation a hours? <laughs> yeah, yeah vis visiting hours are open, and uh, it, it I, I love the old void key system. I remember getting like a T4 or T3 void key, T4 void key, doing a void survival for like 60 minutes straight and then just piecing out. We did like a soft tease, like a tickle with the Degas keys just to see like, okay, you have a Abyssal Beacon, go run the mission, see what happens. It had wins and losses. Like people didn't really remember that there weren't matchmaking yet to preform. So there was like a lot of user experience problems with that, but that's why it's not totally dead. So, yeah. Right. The but the Omnia Fishers that are coming kind of mm -hmm. are that vibe. Like, mm -hmm. the Omnia Fishers are relic agnostic, so you can go into a survival mission in an Omnia Fisher, and you can bring any relic and just haul ass with prime gear. Like, <laughs> big rig prime gear farm for sure, <laughs> so. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a couple more questions. Yeah, we only have uh, four. Oh, minutes, finger guns! Oh, watch, oh, out. Oh, watch out with those. Do things. it again. Uh, <laughs> or don't. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't do it. I, I didn't want you to do it. Have to hear my own voice. No. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. So my only question is for Protea. Could we actually add a toggle to put like the visor down? Oh, toggles. Those actually, are... kind of. Someone, one of the character artists or the rigging artists working on it was really like, I can't see this properly because it goes up and down on its own in the arsenal and I wanted to be able to see the state, so may maybe. Okay. Maybe. Possible. You're right though, that would be nice. <laughs> and thank, thank you, you for the finger guns. Yeah. <laughs> Back over here. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I was going to do the Harrow thing, but I don't have any weapons on me. <laughs> um, good to that's know. Good. That yeah. Is yeah. <laughs> so a fashion frame question. We have the Tenno color palettes, which are the main colors for all the different Warframes. Have you guys considered a DE color palette of like <gasps> Megan's greatest hits, <laughs> Rev's greatest hits? Uh, listen, I know, I know you're surprised, but sometimes Sorry. I really like <laughs> Megan's outfit. Greatest hits? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll let us have ears. He will never acknowledge my colors. That is, that is never. They're, they're good. I'm <laughs> just saying that's free real estate. Like the transactions, let's go. A more, yeah, no, we, no. That, that sounds like a great That's idea. actually very cute. Yeah. That's, that's pretty idea. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I like the idea. And you'd have to guess <laughs> whose was whose. Like, you'd have, like row Ooh. four would be like reds and blacks. Whose could that be? Yours. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, you like, do, do you like Reb's earring? I have one earring in because they told me the other one was hitting the microphone. So this is not... Uh, <laughs> someone else is wearing the other one. Though. Yeah, Alex. Alex is somewhere leave. over there. <laughs> Our PR manager has it yeah. in his so, ear. So, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a yes. We're going to do it. Yes, we're doing it. Guys, yes. yes. All, right. All right, back over here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you Lucario? Yes. Oh, my uh, God. Oh. Amazing. Continue. All right, so my question actually involves Necromex, and if we're ever going to see other new Necromex rather than the two that we have. Uh, I hate saying probably not I don't right think we have now, it, yeah. But in the year of 1999, we're not releasing any new ones. Like Bone Widow and Void Rig, we just, in the Dante's Unbound update, Bone Widow enemy AI is getting reworked, so we're like touching up the ones we have before we, I guess, go to the morgue to grab a skull to put in another. <laughs> yeah, so we actually have to go to the morgue for Necromex, but not yeah. for the reasons you think. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so that's sort of like a meh answer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. You are holding Clem. I can see it I in can the dark. See, yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. And a Warframe tie dye oh shirt. Oh my God, so Give fancy. It. This was actually my uh, art final. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I uh, passed. 10 out of 10. <laughs> ten so out. my question is, when are we getting more him? More <laughs> Clem. That's a great question. What's the answer? Mainline quest? <laughs> Wait, maybe. Well, What's he up to? <laughs> we'll see how, well, what is he up to? That's a good question. He's hanging out at the fort. And, uh, yeah, that is true. He's actually in many places. He's in Darbo's room. He's mm -hmm. in the fort. We'll see. But Clem is a, holds a very special place in our heart for, for a lot of reasons. So. He better. He does. <laughs> he does. He does. He's very special. He's yeah. very important. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Stop we'll, yelling. We'll, we'll see. We'll yeah. see where he goes. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. Thank you. Thank you. Great shirt. He's not in the morgue, I promise. No. Oh, my God. Yeah. Back over here. So I have been coerced into asking a question on behalf of someone that is not here to ask themselves. Okay. And he has made it very clear that if I do not get a satisfactory answer, I don't get my family back. That's, uh, 
All right. right. All right. Are there any plans to evaluate spawn rates in between console and PC hosts, uh, as apparently it affects reactant drops and loot drops? Um, I need plans to. Okay, he wants. By the way, just so you know, this man's family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this man. Uh, first of all, best to your family. Um, <laughs> please answer this <laughs> very carefully. So there's a symptom and a cause there. You you you. The symptom was the stinger to that question, which is, hey, spawn rates for loot and reactant are affected, which are like two different cohorts of problems. Reactants is a microsystem in the void thing. I'm just going to keep talking until you can get your family safely out of there. This, <laughs> this, 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 I'm filibustering the question. Um, but uh, kind of, there's, perf there's performance reasons that we want everyone to be able to play Warframe on all platforms, but it, there is, it is true that if you can get stuck with a lower end machine host, depending on the platform, you you might not have reactants as quickly as you'd like. I think like the best way I can answer that to guarantee the safety of your family is like the worst offenders for something like that, we can probably fix. Mm -hmm. uh, we can increase reactant spawn rates to be the exterminate norm across all mission types. Mm -hmm. So right now, survival, the reactant drops lower because we want you to get to the five minute mark hunting for it. But with exterminate, you get it within like the first three seconds. Yeah. So like, and that's re regardless of, of spawn rates. So we can tweak things to make sure that that happens left, less often. Mm -hmm. And then for the, like, the loot part of it, that's a little trickier to solve. So I think 50% is still a pass. So enjoy your weekend in Boston with your family. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to do one more here and one more here, and then we're going to sign off. So. And that, yeah, we want to say a big thank you to everyone at DE after as well. So we yeah. have one more thing to say before we go. And oh my god, hey! That's, Whoa, what is that? Is that a pit boy? It is a pit boy. Oh my yeah. god. Are you a tunnel snake? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was that cool. Ah. <laughs> you are, you are. Uh, so my question is, if you have Drifter selected as your operator. Is it under consideration maybe that you could also have the melee combat as well? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, we thought it would be a lot more important to keep Drifter melee in Duviri. Like, it's only in Duviri. But, like, I kind of feel like you could get away with it in Core Warframe these days. I think it could work. Because, like... Yeah, it'd be an interesting... Like, okay, so I, I, I use the weapons as the drifter. I'm using the, the Siam, mm -hmm. but then I can also use the Siam as a Warframe and Core Warframe, mm -hmm. so, like, why not both? Why choose? Why choose? I don't know. Like, I feel like there's a couple, like, obviously, there's dependencies on having void damage with amps, but, mm -hmm. like, we could try on some testing. Trying to picture it, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's also, good. you know, drifters can't really mod. Oh, yeah. Like, there, there, there'd have to be that added on feature yeah. to it. So I think it's a it's not impossible. It's just yeah, it would yeah. It would take some time to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last question over Thank here. You. I think I know who this is. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice shirt. Guys, wow. Just wanted to say um I just have my picture from 2016. You guys were <gasps> sitting in Dragonfly and I was just looking at them saying, "Wow, how long we've been uh, oh, together for this I know. Oh, Thank oh, you so much. <laughs> Uh, but my question is, um, I'm from the Inferno Alliance, um, Kimmy, and I just wanted to ask that um, Warframe being a predominantly a, a PvE game, I was wondering if there was a way to, or if there's been a thought about collaboration among clans or even alliances mm -hmm. versus just separately doing events. Hey, let's get together and do something. I know in the past there have been. If only we were fighting for democracy, it would be so much mm -hmm. easier. <laughs> <laughs> Um, honestly, yeah, I think I think the total easy and cool way to switch the next clan event up would be instead of clan trophy tiers and instead of leaderboards that's competitive, it's like a clan. Collaborative. Yeah, thing, yeah. yeah I think that would be a good, and I think I kind of implied it with the other question, like a social benefit or something like that would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I would love that. I would love you to see you make friends with other clans. That would be yeah. very good. Yeah. All right, uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, you had some closing remarks. Just to, to everyone watching from home at like the Digital Extremes team, obviously none of this is possible without the people staying back in Canada, Brazil, <laughs> everywhere in the world that makes up the DE team. We are here on your behalf to show your work to the world and thank you for letting us do that. And then obviously to the community that comes out and has supported us for 11 years of tax, tax Oh my God. We'll always be 
Yeah. Yes. And thank you to Ben for yes, coming on the stage. Thanks, thanks, Ben. Awesome. Thank you, Reb, for thank being you, here. Megan. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, thanks for being part of the girls. My <laughs> pleasure. Oh my god. Anytime. Anytime. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful, safe night, and thank you for watching. Thank thanks you. Everyone. Bye. Thank you. That is incredible.